is just a bloggy blog for the po for the for the misfits. I was about to say folks and people. This is a vlog for the folks. Maybe I still missed it. I'm back from Ghana. It is Valentine's Day week. So your girl had a Valentine's Day event the other day. You got the roses. You got the you got the balloons. You got the vibes. You got the bread nails, period. Okay, I'm too excited. Let me sit down. Let's talk about Ghana. Let's talk about, I don't know, just how I've been, how you been, how work is, because I am currently on the clock. I'm working. Um, and yeah, let's just get into it. Hey, back from Ghana y'all. So I've been back obviously for like a month or so now and I truly want to go back. Like I truly felt like I was at home and a lot of y'all on my channel have already been or you are Nigerian and you're not far or you have been, you had this on your list. So if you haven't been yet, I definitely say make sure you go, Um, especially if you are American like to me, this was not a regular trip. This was not a trip to just be cute. Like it was an experience. It was a life changing experience. Um, and if you a deep girl like me, like you real deep into culture, into history, um, just really into just feeling the world and and feeling alive because some 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 of the girlies out here they they do it for the aesthetics. Like the, I'm talking about the girlies, the misfits, this like really in tune with just like they life and how they feel and how grateful and how full of gratitude they are and that was this type of trip you know what i'm saying even if you already have that mindset like it's just like it's even more things to life and when i came back and i'm just like really uh you you know I just, although i have not i did have not discovered the whole continent of africa i have not you know discovered the whole world and i know that are, there are crazy things happening in a lot of different places but from my perspective and how people treated my idea of going to ghana as a very scary subject um, I just hate that for them. I hate that for people, period, who just don't go and see the world. Um, and they just see it through the lens of their TV and from what the news and the government and, you know, what this country tells us it is. And so going there and coming back, I truly felt like this is the place where I'm terrified of. But just from my experience, uh, you know, going to Ghana, having an amazing time, being around amazing people who cared about me, who still care about me. Um, like the family that I have now in Ghana and coming back here, it just felt like, wow, like we need to do better over here. I went to the Abori Mountains. So shout out to Do Good Fitness, my new brother Kofi. He took us up Abori Mountain and it was beautiful views, a two mile, two mile or more walk up the mountain but it was gorgeous I, it, it's just something that you gotta freaking do went to labadi beach um at night so supposedly labadi beach is a vibe all the time but we went at night and it was fireworks and people everywhere and it was just like a moment for freaking life like nobody's dictating and policing how long you're out how good of a time you're having like that's the part that gets me in the united states is like we can't do shit like every like it's almost like every natural feeling every natural thing that we want to do is deemed as unnatural you know what i'm saying as, as like it needs to be policed like it's savagery and it's just like people had a great ass time at labadi beach beat I did not go to sleep in Ghana at all, barely. Like, and if I did, I went to sleep at like 5 a.m. And I'm not talking about the jet lag. I'm just talking about how late or early they stay up and how much of a good time they have. And nobody's policing them in terms of having a good time. And I'm specifically talking about a crime. Uh, so don't come in my comments being extra. But it just... You know, anyway, went to Labadi Beach. Um, of course, went to some nice restaurants like Buka. I went to the Tea Garden. I went, of course, I had Banku. I got my nails done. Um, super fur. Love them. And my nail tech name was Nelly. Love her. Hey, boo. Republic, the club. I went to, uh, what was it called? Shades. Um... I spent New Year's there, so I went to the countdown that um, Michael Blackson did. <sighs> All brought to you by, like, uh, Before the Return or something like that. Um, 
of course seen plenty of celebrities you know the dave Chappelle was there chance the rapper was there so i did go to the black star line festival so we seen t Payne, erica badu chance the rapper toby new the wig way asake asaki like i i got so many um i'm a piano and freaking afro um beat artists that i like like i don't even listen to whatever i was listening to before like i ain't never been a hip-hop i mean a rap girl but like i listen to rap but i ain't put took my channel off of baby look okay like i belong in ghana like literally i belong in ghana like like i need to move there and you know uh, like all jokes aside I have been wanting to move out of St. Louis for years, but I've always been presented with opportunities and the people who know me for real, like know this information. I've been trying to move out of St. Louis since I, since I graduated high school. Like my first move was going to be to New York because my uncle, he worked on sets and stuff and he was going to hook me up, you know, to be a makeup artist and hairstylist because most of y'all know that's where I started. And I got a job in radio and like that that trend kind of kept going in terms of like me getting um opportunities and just never got the chance to leave and I'm not I, I'm not gonna hold you coming back in first class by the way did not tell you that but I got some shorts on my page of us being in first class baby if you go to Ghana or anywhere first class business class period but um I got back and had the epiphany and, and God literally said, he said, you've been in St. Louis. I've been keeping you in St. Louis and I want you to be in St. Louis and I don't want you to make no major moves because I'm moving you out the country. Like you belong out the country and it all just came to me. Who y'all? Like I got to tell y'all everything that God got going on in my life. But I say that to say, when you get those epiphanies and when your ancestors talk to you and when God talks to you, listen, please listen and take it back to, you know, your first love in terms of what you enjoy truly, like deep down in your heart and deep down in my heart, I've always enjoyed culture, uh, archaeology, like I wanted to be an archaeologist when I was freaking seven, eight like i enjoyed picking up national geographic like crazy when i was in elementary school like culture and the world really just i don't know i don't know what that feeling is still but from what i was just saying about the epiphany and to just thinking about deep down in my heart like what i enjoy like it all just came together and so i say that to say when you have those life-changing moments and you just really feel the spirit of god and like your ancestors just coming over you like listen to that and plug it into something like you know a past thought or imagination or like something that you enjoy that really just lit your freaking world up as a kid because it will all come together and i'm not trying to get real deep on y'all but i just really want y'all to understand because i want to you know, just, just share that part of my life too in terms of like the stuff that I practice outside of being a scrum master and outside of, you know, having a job in tech. Like my life is way more spiritual and full beyond having a job in tech. And I don't want to just stick on this channel and talk to y'all about this. So hopefully y'all enjoy my excursions and travels and all of that and what that looks like later on. I have so many vlogs that I have on private where i've traveled and i don't even have them like i don't even have them on my page public and i'm literally changing that today like so if you watching this video you interested like go look at some old blogs of when i used to travel and like vlogging because they're really funny actually but um i just wanted to come over here have a quick pop in talk about ghana for all the misfits that's inquiring who watch me who enjoy my spirit, enjoy the ride of their own life, and, you know, just get the vibes from me, and hopefully you do, but I, I have, I have no words, like, it's just something that you gotta experience for yourself, and you just gotta take in for yourself, but just know I had a good ass time, and for all the misfits that was in the comments talking about Ghana, and, and that are Ghanaian, and baby love y'all love y'all okay period because nigeria is next period so 
period that's it <laughs> i will talk to y'all on the next video love you bye